Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for Solo Leveling Volume 1 Review. Welcome back once again, if you have not done so by now guys, uh, go check out the giveaway video, I'm extending it one day more. You guys have one last day to be part of the giveaway, so go check it out. Uh, thank you so much to Yempress for providing solo leveling for me to review for you guys. Uh, I will provide links for them down in the description below where you guys can buy the first volume. It's already out, so go buy it. Um, check out my other reviews that I have out this month of Yempress as well. Quite a bit of them that I have reviewed here for you guys. Um, and it's... It's it's pretty amazing what uh, what they're doing over there. This is actually a special one, and I'll explain what right now in my review why it's special. But um, it, it's 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 good to know that they're bringing not just Japanese but a lot of culture into our our uh, nation here in the U.S. For those who don't know uh, what Yen Press does, they do manga light novels mainly, and they produce them. Quite a bit of my collection here, back here, comes from Yen Press, and they do quite a bit of stuff. One of the many things they are doing is bringing Korean uh, manhwa, which is essentially the manga version of Korean um, culture, into the U.S. And a lot of people actually are enjoying the series as well. Uh, it's not specifically manga, so I do want to be clear on that. Um, but it is a very, very popular series. In fact, uh, I would talk a little bit about the story, but obviously I don't want to ruin the story for you guys. Uh, but, you know, you probably have heard of solo leveling. In fact, a lot of you guys are probably in this video because you know what this is. Um, you guys, uh, this is a series that started, I believe, online. And Yempress took... Um, liberty of creating it into volumes and they're doing a great job to it I, I i'm impressed by by the production of it um personally when i first opened it i was very worried of how thick it was and you know thinking man how long is this going to take i will say there's quite a few differences on the production of these books than from manga uh the first is uh it is read like an american comic from left to right which manga for those who are fans of manga is read from right to left that is basically all you get even if you buy it here in the u.s even if it's in english yes it's always right to left um this one in particular is not because it's not japanese it's manhwa it was made by Yempress, and Yempress decided to do left to right and that's okay the other thing is it is fully in color that is not typically seen as well in manga you typically have two three maybe five pages in color and the rest are black and white uh that cuts down in production and helps the companies mass produce volumes for the people in the world the yeah, impress again decided to go with color i personally love that because it it really does give you uh it gives life to the story you know with the the, the, the color is obviously obviously good i will say um books like this that will have color will come more expensive and it is shown in the price it is twenty dollars now i do have links like i said down below down below yem press has multiple links where you guys can buy this series you can buy online which which, which will be cheaper and there's different websites you guys can get a discount on but i will say twenty dollars is still a pretty good price for the size of this book um other mangas typically will be at 12.99, 10.99. A lot of their other products from Yen Press are around those prices, and that's because again, it's usually black and white. This is fully in color, so it's understandable. The other thing to it, because it is black and white, the pages are glossier. They're in a glossy stage, uh, whereas the other ones are 
cheaper texture, I guess you can say, because uh, it is black and white. So, uh, again, that all falls again and reflects on the price. And I don't think it's a huge deal, but I did think it was important to mention here on this review. Uh, now let's get to the story. It follows the story of a boy called, uh, or actually a guy really, Jin Woo Sung. Uh, just by the name, you know that this is not a Japanese production. Uh, Jin Woo Sung essentially lives in this world where um, he can be a hunter at different rankings and he's actually the lowest ranking, E rank. And uh, he's actually the lowest of the lowest. Uh, he is the lowest you can find. Uh, even as an E rank, there's more E rank people that are better than him. So uh, people are always happy to see him when he, they're in their in the mission with them because that means that the mission is going to be easy. Uh, they end up going to this mission and the mission ends up uh, being super easy, but they find a second uh, passageway and essentially they encounter a very, very strong identity and he is able to uh to help a handful of of people that came with him to survive a lot of them a lot of the other people didn't survive but uh he's able to help some people through through the way he thinks and stuff like that um that in a nutshell is most of the first part of the story the second part is the aftermath and him actually receiving powers from he doesn't know where <laughs> uh I, I don't want to ruin the story but that's essentially in 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 a nutshell what's going on and essentially he is leveling up a lot faster and where he was at a point where he was made of now he's growing to be the person he is well like about the story is different things or uh, one is that it it doesn't take away it, it, it's not a easy kai per se where he woke up in a new world it's the same world yet he has awoken powers that he doesn't know how to control it's the same world though so there's not a lot for him to learn per se in the world is more about himself secondly what i like about it is that the the volume itself didn't give us a overpowered character at the end of the volume or even at the beginning of the volume a lot of these uh you know action type of series they they make it seem where like hey the character that you're you're reading about yeah he's overpowered even though that we said the first chapter he was the weakest of the weakest well now he's the strongest one right they're not doing that they're actually building his character and making him actually work to level up and i really hope they continue doing that in the next volumes because it just shows that the writer is invested in the the creation of the character not just saying okay there's just point a we want to get to point b as fast as possible in fact it almost felt like the first full whole volume a lot of people would have just put it all together into one chapter um where sometimes that might be necessary i think most of the time it takes away a lot from what the character uh can be and i personally appreciated that of the story uh we see quite a bit of gore uh, so i will say if you're not into action that has gore this one might not be for you personally i like that um i like when the writers are not shy to kill off characters uh there was quite a bit of characters that we kind of met in a way that you know we we liked who they were because they they're real they have families they have you know they're there because they have to pay bills they're not there because they like killing they're there because it's a job and they have to uh live a life so um but the writer also is not afraid to say okay some of you guys are going to die because this is a dangerous mission and it's unrealistic to say that all of you guys are going to die. In fact, I'm going to kill off more than half of you guys, which personally that is ballsy of a writer, but also it tells you that he's not afraid of, of learning, you know, that this is a world where people die. And I, I you know, there's a lot of easy guys. There's a lot of action uh, series where 
they let you know people die in this series, but we're never going to kill off anyone. And we're just going to have all these characters that they get really hurt, but they survive because they're family people or because they're important to the story or because they're, they're very close to the character and we don't want them to get hurt. So, it, it, you know, those obviously are not the best. And a lot of them end up being like Shonen Jump uh, type of series where... They're directed more for a younger group where maybe death is not too relatable to them yet. Uh, this is, it takes a little bit more mature on that whole uh, aspect of easy Kai in a sense, slash gaming, slash action, gore, and it puts it all together into this very, very well done story. Personally, I recommend this one. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. And in fact, a lot of people are enjoying it already. Like I said, like I started this video, a lot of you guys are probably here because you've heard of this somewhere or some, somehow. Um, quite a bit of people are really petitioning for it to be become an anime and i think crunchyroll maybe might take it under its wing and make it into an anime uh i really hope they do uh it's a good story and i would love to see it unfold as an anime uh personally i think i'm going to continue reading it as a as a manga or manhwa uh and let's see what it ends up being uh for now uh out of 10 i give this one an 8.5 which is one of my highest ratings that i give um, I, you see this guy you see in the cover, you don't see this guy in this whole volume. Uh, it's, I mean, you do see him, but you don't see him like this. Uh, and that tells you that the, the, the author is going to take his time into creating him into the beast that he is. So, uh, anyways, 8.5, it deserves it. Go check it out. Check out the links in my description below. Get yourself, uh, a nice, good, uh, manga today. And uh, thank you guys for your love and support. Like always, uh, comment, like, and share on this video. Make sure it gets popular so people know more about solo leveling. Also, give some love to my channel by subscribing. And see you guys on the next video. Don't be strangers.